My name is Richard Manesse and I'll be teaching you about fluid waves. If you get a job designing ships, marine renewable technologies or coastal protection infrastructure, you will need to know how to calculate waterways like the waves behind me. If you're designing apartment walls or concert halls, you'll need to understand sound waves. These are both examples of waves in fluids, where the fluids could be liquids or gases. When the waves get longer, we become meteorologists and oceanographers because there are waves in layers within the ocean and within the atmosphere that affect our climate and weather. Learning how to calculate and predict these is vital for our future. When the waves get smaller, we're starting to work as biomedical engineers, designing ultrasound scanners and ultrasound medical technologies that not only diagnose disease, but now are starting to treat it as well. We'll begin by revising some mathematical fundamentals, which will help you in calculations for the other subjects you study, such as the calculation of spectra. First, we'll turn to the study of waves on bodies of water, like this pool. Familiar though that might seem, there's an immense variety of practical applications where such waves are important, and many disasters, such as those from flooding gutters to rogue ocean waves, which affect systems engineers might design. Next, we listen to sound waves. In some ways, the derivation of sound waves is harder than that of water surface waves. But sound waves have an immense variety of applications too. Musical engineering, the design of instruments and of audio systems, demands the ability to calculate sound waves. And when sound waves are unwanted, that's noise. And blocking and deflecting noise keeps many engineers in business. When the frequency of sound waves becomes too high, that's ultrasound, used in engineering and in medicine for testing and for diagnosis. Sound waves have even been used to deliver drugs into the brain where no other method will work. And we'll find out how. We'll study waves in the Earth's atmosphere and oceans and how they affect our weather and climate. Armed with this knowledge, you'll be of use to airlines and to armies, to planners and to politicians as we struggle to predict our future. I hope you enjoy Fluid Waves.